Okay, we have some video recording. Here we go again, part three of the DIY directional coupler, 5.8 gigahertz. And the setup today is the same as before. The difference being this is for the bi directional build. I've uh, added one more uh, coupled line. So the, the line on top is the, uh, the line that was there for part two. We separately tested one only coupled line. And now I've added a second coupled line. And it becomes a bi-directional coupler. Um, and what is uh, basically we have Schottky diode uh, detector. The red wire is the uh, detector plus out and a 0.01 microfarad cap supporting the wires plus its extra filtering and on this side we have the 100 ohm termination resistor and the top side is the reverse on this side we have the Schottky diode and the output and the 100 ohm resistor so at the moment the setup is we have the um, 5.8 gigahertz uh, 200 milliwatt uh, VT VTX the 6 dB attenuator in line that's protecting the the output of the VTX from high VSWR because when I power up the uh, open circuit here uh, would normally be seen by the VTX but now it terminates in the 6 dB attenuator and before we start th there's no no power on lead there's no power we're not uh, we're not connected so make life a bit easier we just uh, take the clear panel off there. With a bit of luck, we can read the uh, VSWR meter a bit better. Bias is off. There's no VTX. We've got zero volts all around. So uh, what was uh, next step is, and also you have to note here, by the way, that the zero on the analog meter is less than uh, VSWR one. In fact, it's less by three microamps. So, if we power on the, the if we power on the uh, uh, bias, it comes up over here as negative because it's negative on the cathode of the detector diode. And but nothing happened here on the analog meter because the detector's not plugged in. All right. So now we have the detectors in. So we've got negative volts, bias, and it's also current now because the bias can flow through the detector diode. And now we can adjust bias to zero. Okay, so the needle's now reading VSW zero. There's actually three microamps of DC current flowing through the uh, detector diode. We power it on, power the VTX on, and we have no no uh, load at all. It's an open circuit with the output of the uh, directional coupler, so 100% power should be reflected back into the, uh, uh, the the reverse voltage detector, uh, which we're now plugged into. Okay, so uh, a little luck. Well, flew off scale, which is pretty normal, by the way, because uh, these 200 milliwatt VTXs, once you uh, power them on, the RF's high, it settles back. So we've got a forward voltage of 1.56, and I've set the, uh, the reference for the analog scale to set reference. Um, next step is to use the 50 ohm termination, do the termination test. Okay, termination test, the voltage from 1.56, whatever it was, it's now fallen to 0.081. There's a tiny little bit of um, indication on the VSWR. It's less than uh, 1.05. Okay, so pass the test. Looks good. And... And as I said, the uh, power's been settling back, so we'll just 